I'm here on Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So the wine I'm about to taste is Woodlands, Willy Upper Valley, Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot, 2019, from Margaret River. We've got this wine, which is the Willy Abbott Valley wine, which is not entirely from their own vineyard. It uh, is from all vineyards in the Willy Abbott Valley, including some of their own fruit from some of their own vineyards. Uh, but I believe there's a bit of grower fruit in that as well. The combination of Cabernet and Merlot, it's 69% Cabernet Sauvignon and 31% Merlot. And um, it's, uh, it's a wine that should age really well. It's released young, obviously, at three years of age, the 2019. Um, and it's designed uh, as to be approachable when it's young, but also to, to take a lot of age really well. Let's have a taste of it. The bouquet is interesting because it's, I think it's showing the Merlot as well as the Cabernet. There's a touch of green olive there. There's a touch of um, um, herbal, dried herbal character there. And there's a little bit of meatiness there, which is, um, which is an interesting thing that just adds an extra layer to the, to the black currant and blackberry Cabernet characters, which are very typical of Margaret River. Cabernet aromas. There is no greenness there. There are some herbal characters, but they're not the, they're not the herbal characters of unripe grapes. Let's have a taste. Very, very intense, bright, fresh, youthful, vigorous wine. Really quite a a, a lot of lot of pizzazz in that wine. It's really got a lot of get up and go. Um, I would keep that for a couple of years before I drink it because the tannins are still a little on the firm side. To me, that's a wine which is going to benefit from bottle age, definitely. You can tell from the freshness, the vibrancy, the youthfulness of it, and the vigor the vigor on the palate. It's really got um, it's really got some some uh, backbone to it. We scored at ninety two points out of 100, which is a silver ribbon score. And we said, uh, drink it, ideally keep it for a year, at least a year I would keep it for, and then drink it for at least 12 years, probably 15, uh, as long as it's been well cellared. The food that we recommended to have with this, we've said uh, the whole roasted leg of lamb, barbecued preferably, and served with uh, roast onions and mint salsa. A touch of mint in the salsa will chime in with that very, very slight mint character that, that is in this wine. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.